You are marvelous. There is none like you, Jesus. Lift your voice and exalt the Lord this afternoon. Ah, prayer to the Lord that He shall speak to us. He shall speak to you. That as He comes to bless others, he, you shall not be passed by. Speak praise prayer to the Lord. Tell Him to speak to you. That you shall. He shall give you the understanding. He shall give you the spirit of revelation. That you shall understand what he speaks, uh, that you shall understand uh, what the Spirit of God is saying to the church. Uh, we glorify your holy name uh, and we exalt you, Father. We surrender to you, O oh God. We surrender to you, Father, that you may speak to us. Our hearts we render to you. Our soul we render to you, Lord. Our mind we surrender to you. The Lord you speak to us. We thank you for your servant, Lord. We pray that you may use him as a vessel. A vessel of honor this afternoon. That you speak to us through him, O oh God. We glorify your name and we adore you. You are powerful, Father. You are marvelous. There is none like you. There is none like you, Jesus. Thank you for we are your children. We gathered in this place to hear from you. And Lord, you are ready and you've chosen this day that we may hear, that we may hear from you. Speak to us, we listen. 
In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen and amen. Celebrate Jesus even as you take your seat. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and do you good. We may have our seats and the Lord is going to bless us and do us good in Jesus' name. Let us appreciate the Zion Trumpeters for the good job they're doing. Let us appreciate them better. Let us appreciate them better. Remember that uh, whatever you do, it is a seed. Whatever you do, it is a seed. So as you appreciate them, you, you are sowing a seed that you will also be appreciated one day when your time comes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is good to appreciate them and appreciate them well. They are doing some good job. Hallelujah. Our online viewers, we love you so much. We are coming to you live from the King's House, Moranga Town, the home of all Transformers. And this is a place where we speak to the nations of the world. Hallelujah. We are speaking and ordering and commanding millions and millions of people. This very place in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and as we are transforming the world, so is our life getting transformed every day. Hallelujah. You cannot take a person to a place you have never been. You cannot be a guide to a place you have never been. Hallelujah. You must know what transformation looks like for you to transform the world. Hallelujah. You must be transformed to transform. So if you're in a place of home, uh, the home of all transformers, then it uh, means that you yourself are transformed so that you can transform the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is only one who sees that can guide the blind. Praise the Lord. It is only one who has legs that can take the lame. One man who was lame was paralyzed. He made friends with four men who were not paralyzed. And when Jesus was in town, the ones who were normal, the ones who were not paralyzed, are the ones who took the paralytic and they and they took him on the roof and they took the bricks off. The paralyzed man could not do that. Hallelujah. So it is because they were healed that they were able to take the paralytic and to the place of Jesus to receive healing. Hallelujah. Jesus says a blind man cannot lead another blind man lest the two of them shall fall into the pit. So for you to be a transformer, you must be transformed. You have to experience transformation for you to transform the nations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are speaking about bathing Rema. We started this yesterday. I want to continue from where we left. And yesterday we saw and agreed that the word of God comes to us as a thing that is tangible. That the word of God comes to us as a tangible substance and it comes to us in a way that we can reason with God and it comes to us in a way that we can manifest the word of God. Hallelujah. That we said yesterday, if you're all watching us online and you didn't hear that message, you can just look it up. It is still online and the Lord will bless you. Amen. We say that the word of God can come to us as, a, as an inspiration or as the word of a prophet. And we agreed that what a prophet says, whether they have consulted God or not, so long as a prophet is right with God, what they say becomes a law. What they say becomes the word of God. Praise the name of Jesus. And we saw a perfect example of Elisha. After he has declared drought, and now the king is seeking for his head. Elisha in a bid to save his own head. In a bid to save his own head. He says tomorrow. A time like now. At the gate of Samaria. A sapphire of flour. Shall go for a denarii. And a sapphire of fine flour. Shall go for a denarii. And the Lord had to do everything possible. Including using the four lepers. To make sure that the word of the prophet is fulfilled. Praise the name of Jesus. So what the prophet says is the word of God. 
It is the Lord. Hallelujah. And we said that the word of God is a command. So what the prophet says is a command. Whether it looks like it or not. Hallelujah. And we said that if the, if the prophet calls you blessed and you do not manifest blessing, you are sinning. You are contravening the laws of prophecy. Hallelujah. Because when the, when the author and the finisher, when the one who holds the universe, that was in the book of Psalm, that the world and everything in it belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. So when the master has said that you are blessed, if you do not show blessing, that is called perversion. And perversion is sin. Hallelujah. When the Lord says you are blessed, nature obeys. Hallelujah. When the Lord says you are blessed, nature obeys. When the Lord says that from this day onward, this is your life, this is your destiny, nature has nothing else but to comply. Hallelujah. So if you do not manifest the very thing that nature has complied, the fault is in you. Hallelujah. The fault is in you. It is not in the Lord. It is in you. Praise the name of the Lord. The fault is in you. The fault is with you. And we said that the word of God also comes as a promise and a ground for our hope. It is the word of God that brings faith. Bible says faith comes. And but by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Praise the name of Jesus. So faith comes. So the only hope we have is found in the word of God. Hallelujah. Our hope is in the word of God. And we said, and this is where we finished, and, uh, and this is what I want us to pick up from, that the word of God is the one that creates, upholds, and preserves. Praise the name of Jesus. We said in the beginning, Genesis 1 verse 1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Bible continues to say, and the earth was without and void and darkness covered over the face of the deep and, and the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Then uh, the next verse says, and then God said, let there be light. Praise the name of Jesus. So the word of God created light. The word of God created seasons. The word of God created. So it is the word of God that creates. Praise the name of Jesus. And the reason why seasons still exist is by the word of God. And we saw this in Genesis 8 verse 2. That so long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest will always be there. Summer and winter will always be there. Seasons will always be there. That means it does not matter what goes on around with, uh, with, with, with global warming. It doesn't matter what goes around in the, science, in the world of science. Whether they tell us that, uh, that our weather, whether they tell us whatever they want to say, they may tell us that our rains will not come. But so long as the earth remains, the seasons will never change. Because they are upheld by the word of God. Praise the name of Jesus. And we say it, that it is also the word of God that preserves. And we say it, that the Lord told the children of Israel in the wilderness from the first day there will be raining man the first day of the week. So collect enough for yourself and your family. But on the sixth day there will be raining a double portion. So collect twice. Praise the name of Jesus. And let me tell you, anybody that tried to collect twice on a day that did not have the word of God, the manna went bad. But the one that was preserved by the word of God was still viable the following day. 
Hallelujah. It is the word of God that preserves. It is the word of God that preserves. I want to continue and say today, the next point should be point number five or six, depending on how you're numbering your points, that the word of God is personified. The word of God is personified. When the Lord says, storm is over. Now that goes to everybody that has heard. But there are people in the same hearing who go into storm. Are we together? The word of God says that it is time for us to enter into a season of harvest. There are people who don't harvest. Hallelujah. Because the word of God is personified. And personified, I want to say two things. It is personified to personal, and it is personified that, uh, that it also can come from a person. Hallelujah. So there is an action and a reaction. When I was in school, I did a subject that was called physics, I think for three terms, and then I did away with it. And uh, in physics, there is a principle that they say, that for every action, there is an equal force of reaction. Praise the name of the Lord. Now let me bring you close. You are in a matatu, you are driving. Uh, or rather, you are in your car, you are driving. You are in whatever means of transport. You are on the road at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Then the driver sees a cow in front. And to avoid an accident, Applies emergency brakes. All of you in the car, including the driver, who applied the brakes, you move forward. Hallelujah. So there is the action and there is the reaction. So even in the word of God, when the Lord says something, there should be a reaction from you that had it. Praise the name of Jesus. The fact that he said it, is assurance that he will perform it. But for it to be manifested in the physical. Now understand that God is a spirit. Hallelujah. God is a spirit. So when he releases things, the Bible says, that he has given us blessings in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. He has given us every blessing in the heavenly places. That means there is something we need to do to activate them to be in the earthly places. Hallelujah. God is a spirit and spirits are illegal on earth. That is why when God wants to speak, he will use a physical body. Even when he wanted to give salvation to the, to the world, he did not bring the spirit first. He brought the physical body. He had to bring a physical body because it is a physical thing that is manifested on earth. Praise the name of Jesus. So when God releases, it is in the spirit. It is released. It is there. But it is up to you to reach it out. Hallelujah. And we said we are going to bat our promises. We are going to make sure that we don't miss. Hallelujah. So the word of God is personified. If you look at the people, uh, people like Solomon in their wisdom, and as, the, as, they, as, as they wrote uh, the very many scriptures that they wrote and gave us, and, uh, and we still have them up to today, some of those things are just so deep. Just so deep. Because their reaction to the wisdom of God was right. Hallelujah. There is something we need also to understand. That the word cannot be broken. The word cannot be broken. It endures forever. Hallelujah. It endures forever. I said here some time back that when God says a word, He speaks the end at the beginning. 
Hallelujah. So when he's saying something, he's speaking the end from the beginning. Because his word cannot be broken. His word cannot be broken. Now let me remind you of a, a story I gave you some time back about principles of how they are not broken. And I gave you a story about how one time I tried to cook Ugari with water that did not boil. Hallelujah. So, I tried to pick Ugari, but I didn't have to eat it. Sababu kulikuwa na shida ya kuni. Nikajuliza katika kia mimi na maji. Nani ya kona akiri kuhito mwingine? Mimi liko na akiri ya mani maji kona akiri. Nikamua sababu maji haina akiri. Mimi nitachukua uga. Nyeke kwa maji ya bayo haija chemuka. Of course you know the end result. Yo siku diyo ugari. Idi niyakaria hivu kama hivu. The principles cannot. There is no one time. There is no one time you break the wall. You cannot break the word. So what God says, it is final. It is forever established in heaven. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the word of God is forever established in heaven. It is forever. Forever it is established in heaven. There is no way that the word that God has said, it shall fail to be manifested. It is forever established in heaven. So even your promises that God has given you, they are forever established in heaven. They are forever established in heaven. And that is why, you know, forever is a very long time. That means even when we go to heaven, you'll find that word established. Praise the name of Jesus. Now let me help you to know how people will be frustrated. When a word has been established, forever established in heaven. And where are you going after this life? You are going to heaven where your word is established. So you will go and you see the word that is established in heaven. And then you look at the life you lived and you see two people. And then you'll be ashamed of yourself. Instead of rejoicing and celebrating, singing with Moses and, and with Joshua and dancing with Aaron, you'll be beating yourself. Yes, you made it to heaven. But you made it to heaven miserably. Like Razarus. He goes to heaven. Yes, he makes it to heaven. But he makes it to heaven as what? He doesn't have a place to stay. He goes to heaven as quarter. He's accommodated by Abraham. Praise the name of Jesus. So it is forever established. But you have to react to activate it or not. Praise the name of Jesus. You have to react to activate it in the world. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now let me say this last thing and then if time allows I can mention two things but let me start by saying this one thing. That the word of God now I've said so much about the Old Testament but in the New Testament which is where I want us to see the word Rema because that is what it is used mainly is that there are several things that you need to understand. And the very first thing is that for you to get to the place of birthing your destiny, you need to have an understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. You need to have an understanding. Now, John 8 verse 43. I want us to see a scripture here. John 8 verse 43. John 8 verse 43, we may put it on the screens, please. Where we can be able to see some. And we need to understand. Why do you not understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my word. Oh, look at that. There are two words that are used here. Why are you not... Uh, oh, just, 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 why do you not understand my speech? So speech is lalia. And word is logos. Praise the name of Jesus. So Jesus has used two very separate and distinct words or terms. To say, why, you, why don't you understand my speech? The reason why we don't understand 
is because we have not come to reasoning. Praise the name of Jesus. The people in the times of Jesus, they missed their reward. The city of Jerusalem, they missed their reward. Reason being, they did not have an understanding. Praise the name of Jesus. How I pray that our hearts and our souls and our minds shall be open to understanding. How I pray that we shall all be found in the place of understanding. In the place where we know what the word of God says. It is established forever. It is established in heaven. Praise the name of Jesus. It is forever established. But we need to first of all understand. Hallelujah. And we have come here that we may gain that understanding. We have come that we may gain that understanding. Praise the name of Jesus. So for us to continue in this uh, understanding, for us to continue in this understanding, we need to understand that the sayings are also as important as the message. Hallelujah. I'm one person who is very keen with prophecies. And my wife has given this testimony that in 2015 she was declared barren. All medical science, and you know we are both in the, in, in the medical field, so we know what that means. In 2015 she was declared barren. And according to all science in the medical field, we had tried all forms of treatment and the, the gynecologist so as a very senior gynecologist, a very senior man, and told my wife you cannot be Praise the name of the Lord. So then actually I didn't know the word of God so well like I do today. And then I went to God. I, I remember my prayer. I told God, Lord, you have spoken. Then she was my girlfriend. She wasn't my wife. And then I said, Lord, you have told me that this lady is my wife. And I have had the report that has been said that she cannot give birth. Then I told God, Lord, when I made a covenant with you, I did not make a covenant with you that I will worship you when you give me children. So I thought, God, whether you give me children, whether she bears children or not, I will continue to worship. I will forever be found in the place of worship. Praise the name of Jesus. Actually, then I didn't know the scripture. The Lord was reminding me the other day about the scripture that says that to worship the Lord and there will be none barren among us too. Hallelujah. So I even didn't know the scripture exists. I didn't know. But I applied the factor of worship. And then, a few years later, in 2018, three years later, our firstborn is born. And the Lord says, I have given you grace. Praise the name of Jesus. And that's why we called her the grace child. Now, Jeanette means grace child. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And then, we come later. Now, this is why I want you to understand. We come later and then our, our, our papa calls us here. And as he's praying for us, he says, your children, now, not your child. Now, mark this saying. Not your child, your children. I went to him and told my wife, did you listen? It is not our child. It is our children. We only have one. That means there are others on the way. Praise the name of Jesus. It didn't take long. The Lord spoke to me and told me, I want to give you a son that will gather the praise for your house. Praise the name of Jesus. And then I told her, you just prepare because you are about to give birth to a son. That was three months before Asa was conceived. Three months, around four months before she even knew she, she, even knew she was pregnant. Praise the name of the Lord. Because I understood the grammar. It is not your child. It is your children. That means it has to be more than one. Hallelujah. The sayings are also very, very important. Hallelujah. The devil has made us believe that the pastor is anointed when he prays for us in tongues. The devil has made us believe that we will believe in anointing when the man of God comes and says, Reba Kotera Kadamba. And then you place your hand on you and you fall down. And then you say, today the man of God was very anointed. Let me be cautious sometimes. You need to know what is this that the Lord has said. 
It is not wrong to have tongues over you. By the way, this is a blessing. But when you hear those tongues, go and tell the Lord, Holy Spirit, you are the one that gives the gift of interpretation of tongues. Now, I have had tongues on my prophecy. I want to know what they mean. Because the saying is very important. So I hear that say that your children, and then I go and tell God, God, you said your children, not my child, it is my children. So reveal to me the others. I have not seen them. And then God, and then God revealed to me and told me, your son is coming, and this son shall gather praise. Now let me tell you for sure, that child, when Asabo is being born, we knew everything about him. Everything about him. Because in Ajua, anakuja akiwa nakaa aje. Kapakeji yake inakaa aje. Nakazi yake nigani. We knew. The name was given to him before. It was given to him before because we understand the sayings. Praise the name of Jesus. It is time you also need to understand. Every time a prophecy is given to you, you need to write it down. You need to have it. You need to once have a vision, a revelation, write it down. Today we are, we are, we are very blessed. Our media records for us. But I'm a testimony because I, I can give a testimony because I work in media. I hope our parents will not hear this because they might get this. No. I'm a test, I'm a, I can give at this testimony confidently because I work in media. I, I work with media and I know that 99.9% of the congregation in this church, they don't come for their prophetic work. They don't. They don't bother. Very people will follow me after, after the prophecy, after we have recorded. Few people will follow you and tell me, I want that portion. The portion where I, I, I want to go listen to that word again. Because we don't care. We believe ah, God said it. He said it. The Bible says, and, and the Lord said, bring me to remembrance. So sometimes you have to go through things. The devil put in a situation. And then you don't have time to argue with the devil. Sometimes arguing with the devil is very expensive. So you don't argue with the devil. You go and tell God. God, you said in your word that this is what shall happen. And the devil will free you. But if you don't understand the saying, you always miss that part. Hallelujah. You will miss that part. You will miss. And that is a very important thing you should not miss in your life. Now hear me and hear me clear. And hear me very well. The saints, the way it is said is important. That is just one example I gave about my son because that is something you can see. It is a testimony in the church, you can see. He came. After I said it is not child, it is children. Then he came. Hallelujah. From the same woman who was saying uh, she is barren. Sorry for another thing. Now, we need to understand the saints and get understanding. Praise the name of Jesus. We need to understand. We need to understand the saints. So Jesus is rebuking them and saying, you do not understand my speech. So you do not understand what I because you do not listen to my want. You do not have an understanding. You don't have a reasoning with me. Praise the name of Jesus. And we need to know, we need to know, we need to know that when every word is released, when every word is released, it comes with a package of its own. When every word is released, it comes with a package of its own. And it is up to you to unwrap that package. It is up to you to unwrap the package of that word. Stand up on your feet. We'll be continuing from there tomorrow. So we understand now that the Lord has spoken and we now have a better understanding of what it means when the Lord speaks to your life. Now you know I do want to just say that when the Lord speaks this is what you do is what you receive. And then it first of all get the magnitude, the weight it has when the Lord has spoken over your life. The weight it carries for a prophecy to be laid upon your life. 
So now as we go to fight for our destinies, we know we are not doing God a favor. In fact, we are doing ourselves a favor by remaining righteous. Praise the name of Jesus. We are doing ourselves a favor. So from tomorrow, we'll continue to understand deeper and better and know the will of God. The very will of God. And I want you now just raise your hands up and tell God out of what you have heard and understood and tell the Lord, Father, I come to tell you, I know your word is forever settled in heaven. Teach me to receive it. Teach me to receive it. Because it is, it is something you have to catch to receive the prophecy. To the prophecies, you must catch it. You have to gain understanding. Tell the Lord, open my heart to understanding. Open my heart to understanding. Give me an understanding spirit. Give me an understanding spirit. Open my heart. Just raise your hand up and tell God, open my heart to understand it. Somebody, just open up your mouth. Lift your hands up and tell the Lord, open my heart to understanding. Open my eyes to understanding. Open my inner eyes to understanding. Help me to understand. Help me to understand. Help me to understand. Help me to understand. Bring me to understanding. Bring me to the place of 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 understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rapa Zoka Tayande Rebaraba. Rika Zole Baraba Yanda. Rika Zole Bahando Robo. Rika Zola Baraba Raba Yanda. Repe Zekete Reba. Ripa Zota Raba Yanda. Lord, help me to listen to my prophet. Open your mouth. Ask the Lord to help you. That you shall not despise your prophet. That you shall not despise your prophet. That you shall not despise the prophet. That you shall not despise the prophet. Open your mouth and ask the Lord to give you a spirit. That you shall not despise the prophet. You shall not despise prophecy. You shall not despise prophecy. You shall understand that the word of a prophet is the word of God. You shall understand that the word of a prophet is the word of God. God, open your mouth and tell the Lord that you shall be able to obey and obey your prophet. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, that you shall be able to obey. Obey your prophet. Obey the authority. If you don't have one, ask God to give you a prophet. In the name of Jesus, if you are watching us online and you don't have a prophet, I pray, I ask you now, open your mouth and tell the Lord to receive revealed to you as a gift, as a gift. Prophets are given. Prophets are given. Prophets are given. Prophets are given by God as the Lord to reveal to you and to give you and to give you and to give you and to give you in the mighty name of Jesus. Rapa Zikata Maka zete rebaraba, rika zote rebaraba yande, rika zota raba yanda. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, give me my prophet, give me my prophet, give me my prophet. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray. How I pray, my Father, that we shall obey our prophet. How I pray, my God, that we shall obey our prophet. How I pray, my Redeemer, that we shall obey the prophet. That we shall understand that the voice of a prophet is like the voice of God. That the voice of a prophet is your voice of a lasting king. That the voice of a prophet is your voice of a lasting father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Reta Rabba Hando Roboza. Ask the Lord to preserve you in his word. Lord, preserve us in your word. Ask the Lord to preserve you. Open your mouth and ask the Lord to preserve you. To preserve you in his word. To preserve you in his word. Lord, preserve me in your word. 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 Preserve me in your word, O God. Preserve me in your word, O God. Preserve me in your word, O God. In the mind. Oh Jesus, preserve me in your water. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, preserve me. Lord, preserve me. Lord, preserve me. That I shall have hope and I shall have faith. And my faith shall not disappoint me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are grateful to you for you've revealed yourself and your secret to us. You've revealed yourself to us in a great and mighty way. You've revealed yourself to us. 
And I pray, O oh God, our oh Father, that as we take the reaction and the right step, let us take this step with both and courage as we know we are approaching you, approaching the throne of grace, the throne of mercy, where the creative, the upholding, and the preserving word comes from. That we shall be preserved. We shall be preserved more and more. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray and believe. And everybody say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Hallelujah. I want us to leave our online viewers. Our online viewers, we love you so much. May the Lord bless you and do you good and cause his face to shine upon you. May you dwell in abundance and may the word of God be fulfilled in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, let us appreciate our online viewers even as we leave them. Remember to join us tomorrow, same time, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And then we give our, we prepare our offerings. Uh, as from uh, who are in this place, we prepare our offerings.